So, you want a nice smooth transition looking something like this? Maybe a little bit like that? How about this? I think it got you covered. All right, what's up guys? My name is Jacques Rodge Q, and today we're gonna be covering a nice smooth and easy transition that can be applied to not only one, not two, not even three, but 32 different ways. And know that it's not an exaggeration, this can be applied in that many different ways. And honestly, probably a few more if you can get creative. So if you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I cover a lot of content on this channel that's focused on helping you guys make content the way that you wanna make it. But let's go ahead, hop in the mirror, and I'll show you guys what we're doing today. So before we add anything onto our timeline, I wanna go ahead and explain what we're doing so you guys have a firmer grasp of what's actually going on here. So essentially what we're gonna do is take one video, right? And then we're gonna replicate it nine times. So you have a three by three video square. Then we're gonna zoom in on one of these squares and then move to another square. So what I'm gonna do is choose one of the transitions to do, but I'm also gonna give you the values to do all of them. So I don't have to sit here and walk through it a bunch of different times because essentially this is all kind of like the same thing. So in my example, we're gonna be moving from the top left corner of our video down to the bottom right. So I've got some Modern Warfare footage here on the timeline that we're gonna be working with. Uh, and to begin, we're gonna go ahead and go to the project files in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And you're gonna to wanna to right click, go to new item, and then add in an adjustment layer. Then you're gonna take this adjustment layer and drag it onto your timeline. And personally, I like my transitions to be about a second long. So what I'll do is hit my I key, which will add an in, and then I'll move my playhead forward a bit and add an O key, which will add an out. And what I do is basically move my in or my out until I have about until I have it about a uh, half a second. And you can tell that by looking at the bottom right hand corner of your preview window. And you can see here, he's got like a timestamp for 30 seconds. Then basically what I'll do is move my adjustment layer, hit my CT to bring up the cut tool and then cut at the very end. And I'll get rid of this extra clip. Now, basically this is half a second. So like I said, I like to have my transitions a full second. So I'll hold my alt key, left click and drag one over. Then I'll hold my alt key again, drag one above, and then I'll just extend it out. So I have a top adjustment layer that's one second. And then we're also gonna use these two other adjustment layers later on. But I'm gonna go ahead and move those above the long adjustment layer because I'm gonna need them later. Also make another uh, duplicate of the bottom adjustment layer so we have a longer one because you're gonna need that too. So to actually, uh, so to start adding effects in, you're gonna go one, yeah. So to start adding effects in, you're gonna wanna go to the top right and you're gonna be looking for an effect called replicate. You're gonna drag that onto your bottom adjustment layer. You're also gonna look for an effect called transform and then drag that onto your middle adjustment layer. Now go ahead and select that bottom adjustment layer, go to effects controls in the top left hand corner of your screen and then under replicate, you're gonna wanna change your count to three. And then that's all you have to do for that bottom adjustment layer. So we're gonna to go to the middle one. So to do our swipe transition from the top left to the bottom right, you're gonna go ahead and go ahead, select our middle adjustment layer. Then we're gonna to go to effects controls in the top left hand corner of your screen. Scroll down a bit and we're gonna be messing with position and scale this time. So we're gonna go ahead and animate position, but you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and change your scale to 300. And basically what that'll do is zoom you in on that middle square and the nine video square. Now to be lined up with that top left hand video, you're gonna to wanna to change your X value to 2,880 and then change your Y value to 1620. Then we're gonna move our playhead all the way to the end. And we're gonna change our X value to negative 960 and our Y value to negative 540. Next, we're gonna hit the arrow right next to position to get this little drop down menu. We're gonna select our very first keyframe, then grab the circle right next to it and drag it as down and as far right as possible. Then we're gonna move this keyframe in a little bit more so we can adjust it, grab the circle and move it down as far left as possible then line that back up at the end. After this, scroll down into your effects controls and then uncheck this use composition shutter angle. Then we're gonna change our shutter, then we're gonna, then we're gonna change our shuttle, shuttle, shutter angle. And then we're gonna change the shutter angle to 360. Now this is the most basic form of that transition. You have a swipe, but you also have some motion blur going on with it. But I'm about to show you some effects you can add to spice up this transition and get a lot more use out of it. So first off, what you're gonna wanna do is go back down to your timeline, grab one of these adjustment layers and move it up. And then you're also gonna wanna drag these out to where they're the same length as the rest of these. Then you're gonna go to effects controls in the top right hand corner of your screen. And then you're gonna look for an effect called VR chromatic aberrations, which is gonna be under immersive video. Drag that onto your top adjustment layer. Next, you're gonna be looking for an effect called lens distortion. Now there's gonna be a lot of these, but you really what you should do is just minimize this whole lens distortion removal. Then you're gonna go down to video effects and a distort, you're gonna find lens distortion and that's the one you wanna use. Then go ahead and drag that onto the adjustment layer with nothing on it. And we're gonna be messing with the lens distortion first. So go ahead and select the adjustment layer that has that on it. Go to effects controls on the top left, scroll down a little bit. And this whole time we're gonna be messing with curvature. So go ahead and hit the stopwatch next to curvature. Uh, move it in to basically where the playhead is at the, where the height of the transition is. We're gonna change that value to negative 50. 
Then we're gonna move our playhead to the very end of the transition and we're gonna change that value back to zero. Essentially what this will do is kind of like morph the screen while the transition is going on and just adds a little bit more of that subtle transition effect. Next, we're gonna mess with the chromatic aberration. So select the adjustment layer that that's on, effects controls in the top left, scroll down a little bit. And we're gonna be messing with the majority of the settings under chromatic aberration. So we're gonna mess with aberration red, aberration green, blue, and the fall off distance. Now what I like to do is go ahead and set all of these values at zero for the very beginning, then move back to the middle of the height of the transition basically. We're gonna be changing aberration red to negative five, aberration green to five, and then aberration blue to five. And also change your fall off distance to 65. Then drag your playhead to the very end, and then change all your values back to zero. So here's this transition we just made, but let's talk about it a little bit. Also, I'm gonna put the values up on the screen so you can do this transition however you wanna do it. So the most basic way to use this transition is just to have our normal swipe. That's all you have to do, nothing special, no aberration, no lens distortion, right? Well, that's one transition. On top of that, you have it in all the different directions you wanna do it in. So that's like eight different transitions. Then you can have it with a lens distortion. Well, then that doubles that. So now you have 16 different transitions. Well, you can do it with the chromatic aberrations too. And that adds another eight. So now you're at 24 different transitions. But let's say you wanna do it with this basic transition. You wanna do it with the lens distortion and the chromatic aberrations. That gets us up to 32 different transitions you can do by just applying this effect in different ways. And that doesn't even cover if you can find something else in Premiere that you wanna add on to that. This is why this effect is one of my favorite. You can apply it in so many different ways so easily and barely have to change anything. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, make sure that like button and subscribe. I cover a lot of content on this channel that's focused on helping you guys make content the way that you wanna make it. Also, let me know down in the comments below if there's another effect you wanna cover in a future video. And until next time, peace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So let me get this straight. You, Want to be as good as the doc? Great. Welcome to the Champions Club.